Yesterday, the Fed announced a 50 basis point interest rate hike, which the market was highly expected. And the market did not do much. It did went down a little bit. Then during the press conference, Jay Powell, chairman of the uh, Federal Reserve, was asked about the possibility of a three quarter of a percent increase in the future. And his reply was, it's not in the card. And that sent the market zooming up. And as you can see from this daily chart here, yesterday, the market went up almost 3% or close to 125 points. And it had a almost 160 point turnaround from yesterday's low. Now, the question a lot of people was asking, was that a change in the trend and reversing back up? to new high, or was that something else? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you it was something else, so stay tuned. Now, here's a three minute chart of the SPY, the ETF for the S&P 500. And the reason I'm using the SPY right now instead of the uh, cash index, the S&P 500, is because the SPY, the ETF, has the volume, the trading volume on it, and the, uh, uh, SPX, the S&P 500 does not have volume. So here what I have is the volume profile. This is the daily volume profile. And this is what we're going to be focusing on. And as you can see on this three minute chart here, I have marked off this right here at 11 o'clock, which is 2 p.m. Eastern time, 11 Pacific time. That's when the Fed or the FOMC announced the interest rate height of half a percent. And then here is 11.30 or 2.30 Eastern Time. That's when Jay Powell started his press conference. And here, as you can see, shortly after the uh, uh, press conference started, the question was asked to Jay Powell about the possibility of a three quarter of a percent interest rate hike in the future. And his reply was, that is not in the card. And as you can see, that it sent the price soaring up by looking at the volume profile. And by the way, what I'm describing here is fully described in this video that I put out. So if you have not watched this video on the basic of the volume profile where I describe different price action and different uh, characteristic of the volume profile, go and watch that and get familiarized with the different price action and volume profile uh, patterns. You can see uh, in the future, what sort of a price action is pushing the price up by looking at the volume profile. And the reason why I'm saying this is a short squeeze is, first of all, we have to understand institution or the big fund, they do not buy on market. In other words, they do not go FOMO. The only people that buy on market is the retailers. And also, there are those short sellers that they have to cover scramble the cover so they put market order to buy back the short to cover the short and that's what happened when there are market order moving the price up there's not much volume that get transacted at different price level because it's basically just market order moving up pushing the price up so whatever the uh, the offer is available the short cover will uh, you know the short will go and uh, take that offer and cover the short. So we just keep on pushing the offer or the asking price up. And that's why you see very little volume going up. And here you see that there's a high volume area here. And that's where a lot of the sellers start to appear now. Right? So, so that's where the seller come in, late long, start buying up here. And that's what set up for another thing that we call liquidation break. So you can see right here before that push up, you know, a lot of volume was trading here, was basically trying to balance here. Then all of a sudden it just made this surge and not much volume going up. And then once the short is covered and there are a lot of uh, seller waiting to sell up here now. And also you got these uh, late FOMO uh, dip buyer coming in and buying near the top. That's the reason why it was a short squeeze rally and the volume profile have clearly indicated that to us, you know, that was this move here was due to short covering in most part. Now let's go and take a look at what is happening so far for today. 
Right now it's about 1.40 uh, Eastern time in the afternoon in New York. And as you can see today, the uh, S&P 500 earlier was uh, uh, losing 170 points or so and uh, over uh, 1,100 points on the Dow. Currently, the Dow is down about 1,000 points and the cash index on the S&P 500 is down 143 points. As you can see, this uh, the SPY, the ETF for the S&P 500 is uh, losing 14 and a half points, a little bit over 3% uh, uh, here. And remember earlier, I was talking about this setting up for a liquidation break. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you see the volume building up here, but the value is still down here. The point of control is down here at 417.30ish. So unless the value is start to move up here, then these uh, you know uh, uh, prices up here will not uh, stand, and it will eventually have to come back to where the value is. And as you can see, we saw the liquidation taking place this morning and sold it off. So right now we are basically in a little bit of a consolidation trying to find a base down here now after the uh, early morning sell-off. So right now the uh, market, like I said, it is down 14 point or a little bit over 3%. So again, you know, in my uh, video on the basic of the volume profile, I also describe this uh, pattern here as well. So I highly recommend you go and watch that video. And I hope this is useful for you to use to see you know, what are the price action that is pushing the price up? Uh, is it a short squeeze or is it a strong buying, a trend, new trend starting out and that sort of thing. So uh, thank you for watching and be sure to smash that thumbs up to help me promote this uh, video on YouTube. And also if you are not a subscriber, click on that subscribe button and also make sure to click on that notification icon so you won't miss any new video from me in the future. Thank you for watching and stay safe.